Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is divide decimals by 10. Now, I know that mostly in fifth grade, your teachers are going to tell you what I prefer to call like the quick method, which is like maybe let's say you have a problem such as 5.6 divided by 10, and your teachers are going to be like, okay, count the number of zeros, and we know that 10 has one zero, right? And move the decimal point from right to left because right to left decreases. So you take that and you move it, and you get your quotient of 0.56. Okay, but how did you get that? I mean, have you ever wondered, like, okay, how did I make a 5.6 to a 0.56? That's where, like, the logic comes in. So how is the question here? Well, there is, you use place value to find this. So I know that our first video for Bronis' Mad Club was on what is place value. So... If you get this out, we're going to use the same question, which is 5.6 divided by 10, but this time we're going to use place value. So look at the decimal number, which is 5.6, write it over here. Now list the place values for each of the numbers. The 0.6 is in the tenths place, the th, tenths, and the 5, we know, is in the ones place. That means that the 6 tenths is can also be written as 6 over 10 right and the 5 ones can also be written as 5 over 1 or 5 now if you're going to divide 6 tenths by 10 that means it'll become 6 tenths divided by 10 over 1 right now whenever you're doing division of fractions you need to make reciprocals what are reciprocals well, we are going to have um, a topic video on that, but just like a head start, reciprocals are when you change the second fraction upside down and you change the sign to multiplication. So this would become 6 tenths times 1 over 10. That means it will become 6 over 100. That means the place value of 6 tenths has now become in the hundredths, right? So the hundredths, so the, the th. That means 6 over 100 can also be written as 0 0.06 because the zero is in the tenths place now and six is in the hundredths place. Okay, so we're done with the 0 0.6. Now you come over here to the five over one. You need to divide that by 10 over one, right? Or you write this as five over one times one over 10, which means it becomes five over 10. So that means the five ones has now become five tenths. So we come over here and we write five tenths because the 5 comes in the tenths place, right? And we can add a 0 here for the hundredths. Now, if we add 0 0.06 or 6 hundredths plus 5 tenths, we get a sum of 6 plus 0 is 6, five, 0 plus 5 is 5. Bring down the decimal point. Now, see, we still got 0 0.56, but this was more logical. Now, I know that this did take us some time to do, but this is like where the logic comes in and you know how you got it because, you know, if you just, just use that zero method, that is a simple way to do it, yes. But you don't know whether you did that right or wrong. So this is like where logic comes in. So we still got our quotient of 0.56. That means the quotient of 5.6 divided by 10 equals 0.56. So that's pretty much like the logic behind dividing decimals by 10. Now let's say we have another problem such as maybe let's say we have 2.4 divided by 10 okay so once again we write our decimal number over here 2.4 we write the place value for each of them so 0.4 is in the tenths place and the 2 is in the ones place Okay, so 4 tenths could be written as 4 over 10, right? And the 2 ones could be written as 2 over 1. If we divide 4 tenths divided by 10 over 1, it could also become 4 tenths oh, times 1 over 10 because it will become a reciprocal. 4 times 1 is 4. 10 times 10 is 100. So now the 4 over 10 has now become 4 over 100 or 0 0.04 because 0 is in the tenths place now and the 4 is in the hundredths place. Okay, now we go back here to the 2, so 2 over 1 times 1 over 10, it would become 2 over 10, so now the 2 ones will now become 2 tenths, so we come over here and write 0.2 because the 2 is in the tenths place, add a 0, 
add them together, 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 2 is 2, bring down the decimal point, that means we get our quotient of 0.24, that means the quotient of 2.4 divided by 10 equals 0.24. So I hope you guys understood this topic. Now if you want to find more practice problems in this, you can always visit our website and we'll see you guys next time.